Yeah, so every time there's a new, the question is, what do we do about claims about Jesus, like the new one, um, hey, he was married. It's not a new one. It's an old one, but every time there's a new kind of manuscript that's old that says something like that uh, is found or comes out, that whole thing kicks up again. So what do, you, what do we do with claims like that one, Jesus was married? We do the same thing with that that we would do anywhere else in science or in a courtroom uh, or in uh, archaeology, uh, we, we, we go back and evaluate it. And so if it traces back to the early, um, the early church period, the earliest things, and shows marks of authenticity, that would begin to create problems. If it's what's called a Gnostic text, which is a couple hundred years after Christ, and, and in a community kind of far removed from the Jewish center of early Christianity, Then we look at it and say, um, it's a Gnostic text that reflects Gnostic thinking. It's not an ancient source, historical source, like what we would expect in a courtroom or a court of law as as testimony that would be valid or accurate. And so if, if it's not something that we would really engage as having something to say historically, um, from oral tradition and everything else, but just Gnostic thinking, um, well, then we should treat it like this. The problem is, is that doesn't sell news stories or, or magazines. Um, taking this and going, holy cow, there's an ancient document that says Jesus was married. Isn't that exciting? Uh, I wonder what that would have looked like. Was she pretty? Was it a romantic, you know? I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, ooh, that's an interesting question, and it'll probably stir up a lot of controversy and sell a lot of magazines. And so it comes round and round and round again. So I think that's how we do it. Find uh, somebody that knows what they're talking about. Find somebody that can help you uh, know the difference between ancient sources and uh, later source material. Um, Things that have the marks of more authenticity with regard to the early community, um, historically, or, you know, things that are further away from center. I mean, find reputable people. Daryl Bach is a good one on this. And so you can find his writings or read his blog but he's a good one on this. And there's others out there as well. Um, but that's how you handle it. You just don't jump into the, well, I don't think Jesus was married. And then you get some kind of back and forth about opinions. We treat it the same way we do anything else. Let's look at the evidence and then render our, our conclusions accordingly. Um, it's a great question, though.